Hi old folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS3Root.com So I got my AT&T um, Galaxy S3 I got today um, I've got the blue one here and also a very nice case I'll have links where you can get this case um, Actually, let me show you that real quick It's really nice uh, from Cruiser Light Definitely check it out um, So let's go root our phone Very easy to do uh, Let's get rid of the smudge marks first and make our phone looking really nice uh, first what you want to do is uh, put it into uh, Odin download mode so hold down volume down center button and the power button together until your phone resets and then you're gonna let go of the power button um, when your phone resets there you go and keep holding down volume down and the uh, center button and this is how you get into Odin download mode and once you get the warning screen hit volume up and then next what you're gonna do is uh, hook it up to your computer via micro USB cable to your computer and let's go to your computer next what you're gonna do is uh, um, go download uh, Galaxy S3 root att.zip if you unzip it you'll find f uh, four files um, and go ahead and run Odin 3 v 1.85 uh, run it and you should get this com sign with the yellow thing. Um, if you don't install Samsung keys, um, don't run Samsung keys. Just install it, and this that will install the drivers. And then uh, you know unplug your phone and plug it back in. And you should get this yellow uh, highlight. If you don't, um, my best suggestion is try uh, try another computer. Sometimes Windows uh, drivers can get very iffy. And also, I'll have another instruction set for uh, Linux and Mac. Um, this is pretty much the same thing as the uh, T-Mobile version but I'm, I'm making another video because I know some of you if I just use my T-Mobile they'll be like oh you use your T-Mobile Galaxy S3 so this way I'll use the AT&T version and I'll have video proof that it works so you guys don't go crazy anyway choose PDA and then go uh, browse to the Galaxy S3 root ATT directory choose CWM dash recovery dot tar hit open hit start you don't have to touch anything else do not touch anything else and let it do its thing and uh, this will flash the recovery the way this works root method works is that it install the, installs the custom recovery on your phone it does not touch anything else it does not uh, affect your phone in any way or form or fashion um, and then we're gonna simply copy over the uh, super user files here which is the CWM super SU um, we're gonna copy into our phone reboot into the clockwork mod recovery we just installed and flash the rooting files and this will I know a lot of people say like oh I rooted my phone and you know my Wi-Fi is not working all this um, but it's not gonna happen because this root method does not touch your Wi-Fi or anything in your phone um, so once it reboots you're gonna um, you should be able to see that your phone will show up here uh, for Windows here um, there you go so do a right click on the uh, the zip file here and do copy so we copy that file and go to your i747 go to your phone and do a right click paste and I already actually copied it over so it's right there and let's go back to our phone for the final part um, next you won't you don't need the uh, USB cable throw it away um, hold down volume up center button and the power button and then hold it down and when your phone resets let go of the power button but keep holding down the volume up and the center home button and this is how you get into clockwork mod recovery later on when you install backup or restore ROMs oh you know what I didn't press it right there we go and uh, any second here it will turn off now let go of the power button because your phone reset it keep holding down the volume up and the center home button and you'll get into um, clockwork mod recovery after this logo and there's also a way to unroot so no worries um, you can always unroot after rooting and very safe to do just just make sure you have enough battery um, anything above you know 30 percent should be fine go to install zip from SD card and uh, choose it from SD card or internal SD card depending where you copy those files over to I don't have an SD card inserted so it's gotta be in my internal SD card so choose it from SD internal SD card hit the power button 
and then go find that file cwm dash super su blah blah dot zip and hit the power button and say yes and this will root your phone and give you super su which is the new super user amp and you'll get a successful um, go back hit the power button reboot and you sh your phone should be fully rooted um, you're all ready to go you can go run rooted apps um, this one doesn't install busybox but you can easily install busybox if you need it some apps need busybox if you um, need busybox some apps will tell you when you run it then simply go to the play store um, type busybox and there's a bunch of apps that will install busybox for you and simply run the busybox apps if you need to but for most applications for installing custom ROMs you don't need busybox um, so not really too much worry about that uh, hit apps and you should now have super user um, congratulations now you have a rooted phone and also now you can install custom ROMs very easy to do it took me like what five minutes or whatever um, so go ahead and uh, root your phone and go ahead and install new ROMs. Uh, there's actually not that many ROMs out right now as of this video, but by next week, in two weeks, in a month, there should be a ton of custom ROMs. All at, um, I'll have the best ROMs that I've tried over at GalaxyS3Root.com. Check out that site. And also, um, you can sign up for my email list at GalaxyS3Root.com. We update you once a week with ROM one day week tips, hacks, and more, and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here. Subscribe button up there if you have, thanks a lot. And use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, I'll be getting my Sprint, so I'll have another routing uh, with the Sprint you know, so version. Uh, I know a lot of you were having trouble with Sprint for some reason, so I'll have to make another video um, so you can follow step by step. Anyway, thanks you guys for supporting my channel. Stay high on Android. I'll be getting really high this week on Android. I'm gonna have, you know, try to really focus and I'm gonna start getting up like literally at 5.30 and start just busting out videos. Anyway, thanks you guys. Stay high on Android. <laughs> Stay high on Android. And don't buy an iPhone. Everybody says it sucks.